This is a review of Kevin Chung's article entitled Variation in the Incidence of Distal Radius Fractures in the U.S. Elderly as Related to Slippery Weather Conditions. Dr. Chung notes that nearly 90,000 Medicare beneficiaries sustain distal radius fractures each year, frequently resulting from a fall from standing, and most occurring outdoors. These injuries incur expenditures topping $240 million annually. His group hypothesizes that seasonal variation in the incidence of distal radius fractures exists and is associated with various winter weather events. His group retrospectively analyzed a sample of 2007 Medicare claims for distal radius fractures. Weather data was collected from a sampling of 100 airports across the country recording values such as snowfall, snow ground cover, wind speed, and temperature. Weather events such as snow, rain, and freezing rain were also recorded. All zip codes within each county that contained one of the targeted airports were compiled and matched to zip codes of patients who suffered a distal radius fracture. The resulting list of fractures per day per county was merged with airport weather data per day. Key weather data was condensed into a slipperiness score. This score was devised to measure the severity of slippery outdoor conditions. The resulting scores can range from 0 to 7. Negative binomial regression models evaluated the correlation between slipperiness and distal radius fracture occurrence. 21,000 patients were included. The risk of distal radius fracture was 20% higher in winter months December through February. Based on this adjusted estimation model, 100 excess fractures occurred every 8.5 days during the winter. Over 90 days during the winter, their model predicts an additional 1,060 distal radius fractures occur in the U.S. elderly compared to any other block of 90 days during the year. The risk of distal radius fractures increased 24% with freezing rain. It increased 45% with snow or ice on the ground at the start of the day and 35% with the average temperature less than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The risk of sustaining a distal radius fracture was increased 14% on days with a slipperiness score of 5, 6, or 7. They conclude that weather events that create slippery walking conditions occur most often in winter months December through February, and result in an increased risk of distal radius fractures in the U.S. elderly. The separate weather elements of snow or ice on the ground, freezing rain, and freezing temperature all had significant correlation with distal radius fracture occurrence. When these weather elements were combined into the slipperiness score, the regression models were also significant. By providing an easily reproducible score that helps predict fracture risk due to weather, their results are transferable to public health and prevention domains. Identifying and publicizing high-risk weather days can be implemented similar to air quality, UV, and icy road warning systems. Using a slipperiness index to relay hazardous conditions might have success in fall and fracture prevention. There are a number of limitations with the study. The slipperiness score has not been validated. It also assumes a one-to-one -one relationship between slippery weather conditions and distal radius fractures resulting from falls. Overall, this concept is excellent. It makes good sense to issue a slipperiness index score during inclement weather, similar to heat, UV, and air quality indices. The cost to the taxpayer can be decreased due to a decrease in the number of slip and fall events. This score can only be validated by testing its applicability in the real world and doing so poses very little to no downside and enormous upside in my opinion.